How can one person look at the world and see beauty and joy, and another person looks and sees heartache and pain? Is it really just down to our chemistry? Okay, there's a part of our mind, the reticular activating system, if you really want to know the name, and its job is to decide what you notice and what you don't. It will bring things that apply to you into your conscious awareness and filter out the things that don't. So when I bought a new car last year, I started to notice that particular make and model on the road a lot more. In fact, it seemed like every five minutes I'd see another one. I'm thinking, oh my God, has everyone just bought the same car as me? The truth is, of course they didn't. There were the same number of Mini Coopers on the road as there always had been. But as soon as I owned one, in my mind, that was now my car. As such, this particular type of car suddenly applies to me and it's taken off of the list of things that I can just easily ignore. Have you ever been in a pub or a restaurant and you're talking to the person opposite completely unaware of the conversations going on around you? Unaware that is until somebody says your name. Suddenly that single word jumps out at you from across the room. Now, the person on the other side of the room didn't say it at you, neither did they say it louder than the rest of their conversation. It just jumped out at you because your mind flagged it up as something you used usually pay attention to, and it brought it into your conscious awareness. So how does your mind decide what you notice and what you don't? Well, it basically runs its own version of a social media algorithm. It looks at what you're noticing these days and shows you more of the same. So if life has been showing you some pretty negative stuff over the years, your mind will decide the world is a bad place and will then find more negative stuff to show you. At the same time, it will filter out all the positive stuff that the person next to you seems to be noticing a lot of because it believes this stuff simply doesn't apply to you. Your mind is invested in maintaining a consistent version of reality for you, no matter how unhelpful that reality has now become. And this is the main reason why some are programmed to notice the dark stuff and some aren't. It's not hereditary, it's not chemistry, it's programming. Now. I'm not saying this to suggest changing the way you view the world is straightforward. Most of us will need help to do this. I'm saying this to suggest that changing the way you view the world is possible. It's all about what you notice and what you don't.